mic is on. You good? Testing. Dancer, young dancer, I keep that Beretta on top of the dresser. Bitch, I'm a king. Ain't a smart thing. I got a new tank with a Tesla. I might fly overseas, check the weather. Cause my heart is cold. Yo, what's up, guys? I checked this out. So, I'm by KJ's crib right now because we're supposed to meet up. Today's uh, April 14th, Friday. It's a good Friday for anybody that celebrates that, but. That's not, that's not what we're getting at. So basically, he told me to come to his crib. We're gonna chill, you know, we're gonna eat. He said he's gonna have like crazy grub going on in his crib. I'm like, all right, cool, no problem. I'll stop by. I end up getting to his neighborhood before he does. So I'm waiting for him now. Now I'm trying to kill time and let me wait for the train to pass. So I was passing by his neighborhood, just trying to kill some time. You know, there's a whole bunch of sneaker stores around here. For those that don't know, this is the Graham area for those that live in Brooklyn. So basically, long story short, I passed by Tom D's, which is that same store that had the Keymaster in my first vlog. I was walking by and they had a whole bunch of boxes outside, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. And they had a whole bunch of shoes, a whole bunch of clothes on sale. And I saw these LeBrons. And I'm gonna show you guys in a moment which ones they are, but I just had to pick them up. Why? Because it's like a $250 shoe for fifty dollars. Here's the homie. Oh right, yeah, let's go. So I made him wait just for me to finish this. Cause I just had to tell you guys this. Like I'm trying to put y'all on right now. For those that live in New York, I don't know when this is gonna go up actually because we're going to his house right now, you feel me? And I wanna edit this as soon as possible and just throw it up, but I can't because I'm not going home anytime soon. I don't have my laptop on me. I, I I'm not going home. So by the time you guys see this, that sale's probably gonna be done. But I just wanna show you guys this. I right, saw so I'm with my bro right now. Yo. All right, so we're gonna go to the store right now, and I'm gonna just show you guys what they have. And those were the shoes that were in the Keymaster before, remember? Yeah, they were. Wow. And they never sold this. So that's why. This one had a box, right? Nah, no box. None of them have show boxes. Show me. This goes in dark, bro. Nah, I don't think so. These shoes are hard. So this is not the first time they've done something like this, but it's the first time that I'm coming up on something like that. So we're gonna go to the store right now, and then later on, I'm gonna show you guys like a uh, an up close look at the shoes and like an on feet, just so you guys can really see the details on the shoes. All right, guys. So this is time. Tom D's right here. Rowing, right? Yeah. So look, this is the other size they have. They have a nine and a half right here. No box though, no box. Yeah, man. Look, they got they got all these ones right here. Eighty dollars, bro. Eighty dollars. Metallics. When these go down on a hundred, I use in the bottom. That's what you said. Well, I don't want to buy them. <laughs> Eighty dollars, guys. This is a crazy price. It's a good deal. They only have ten though. Ten and a half. Look at, the, look at the size run they got. It's mostly 10s, but that's my size. <laughs> Alright, so my cousin pointed out to me that these LeBrons, I don't know if it's the pair that I bought or this pair right here, but they were inside the Keymaster that was once inside the store. And they don't have the Keymaster anymore, but I don't know. I guess they, obviously, they, no one ever won them, I guess. And they never sold them, so I guess they, they have them now for 50 bucks. That's a great-ass price. Oh, they got some hoodies over here. This hoodie's nice, actually. Damn. How much is this? Well, it's seventy five dollars on the tag, but I'm pretty sure they have it here for a, a much better price. Oh, this camera is dark. Hold up, damn. Yeah, I switched to the other camera, but I had to switch to this one because I didn't feel like walking around with that big camera. All right, but anyways, guys. So, so like I said, I'm gonna show you guys a better look at these shoes. It's basically the, I think they're called the Scooby Doo LeBrons, right? Is that what they're called? Because they look like they look like the, no, like the, the Scooby Doo character. No, the, 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 no, the, 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 the those are not the corks. No. Nah. That's not cork, bro. You'll see the corks. You'll know which ones are the corks. So basically, guys, like I said, uh, I'm gonna show you guys an up close look when I get home, and when there's daylight, of course. And I'm gonna give you guys an on feed just so you guys can see how they look. They're brand new, but the guy said they were just sitting in the basement, so they're kind of like not in the best condition because you know they're not in a box. Like, they're just sitting out in the air, so the like the the materials is not really that great right now. Like maybe if I clean them up, I'm gonna do what we gotta do right now with him, and then when I'm home at a later time. I'll give you guys a better look at these. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below if this is a good steal. $50 for a $250 shoe. Let me know down below. Retail is $250, I believe. Yeah, 50 bucks, guys, 50 bucks. So, that being said, we out of here. And I look mad dark, what is good? All right, we out of here. Yo, don't leave them hanging. What type of smile is that? What are you doing, bro? Boy, I'm tired, hey. man. Why are you tired? I don't know. Because on Sunday we closed because of Easter. So they called me today if I wanted to come in. I was like, I'll take it because I wasn't trying to lose hours from Sunday to today. So I'm still going to make that money. He's hungry. Okay. Chasing that paper. Right. So we out. We'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace. Yo, what came? All right, what's good, guys? So as you guys just saw in the previous few clips, I did pick up the LeBron 10 Scooby-Doo, I believe is a nickname for these because it does look like the character of Scooby-Doo. This is a dope colorway. It's a clean colorway. To me, this was a great pickup. It's kind of like a thrift store find kind of thing, but not really because it wasn't a thrift store. Just getting into some of the materials real quick because I do want to just show you guys like just, just some of the details. So basically on the, on the upper, it's just this brown, what I think is suede. And then you have this leather blue tongue with this leather lining on the inside in this yellow color. And then the laces, it's like this rope kind of waxed laces, I guess you could say. It kind of looks like it's it, they were just painted blue, but they do come with regular blue rope laces. But I think I'm gonna leave these on there just because it gives the shoe a different feel. You don't really, I don't really have shoes that have this kind of laces. So I prefer to have these laces on them in my opinion but then you have an icy blue sole. And then on the middle of the sole, you do have that classic LeBron logo that's on most of his shoes with the X on the back for the 10, I'm, I'm assuming. So for how old this shoe is, I think it came out like two, maybe three years ago. This sole is still pretty blue, it's still icy, so that's, that's pretty dope. And then just getting into some of the details, you do have a Nike swoosh right there on the forefoot. You do have another one by the heel. And on one of the shoes, you do have LeBron's signature lion logo. And then on the midsole, you do have like this, this type of material. I'm not really sure what material this is. I think they call this velvet or, or felt. I'm not really sure, but it's really soft. And it's something that we're not really used to seeing, at least me in, in, in like certain shoes. Like you don't really see this in like basketball shoes, especially on the midsole. So this is a pretty cool detail they added there. And all in all, it's a pretty dope, clean shoe in my opinion. And for only 50 bucks, that's why I picked it up. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this pickup. Do you think that this is worth $50, even though they, they are dead stock, but they're not dead stock condition. Like, if you get what I'm saying, like they're kind of a little dinged up, like they have a little, like, few scratches or whatever, but that, that's fine. 50 bucks, like, you can't go wrong with that. But in the comments down below, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think this was a good come up, a good steal? I think it was. And I also want to mention that this is my only pair of LeBrons. I have one pair of KDs, you know, I don't have any Kobe's, but this is a nice addition to the single collection, in my opinion. And I'll also be sure to give you guys, like, a little on feet just so you guys can see how these look since this shoe did come out several years ago and I wasn't doing on feeds. Or I didn't have a single channel back then. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. That's it for this, this small pickup. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like the content, y'all know what to do. Subscribe. This is GC Kicks, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Watch me go and let you go and let you talk nice to me, not in the mood. Split it up like Mickey Drake. That's how I do the Rico. Gotta reload, do a freak show if you want a kilo. We know you think you won't, but you will be low. Behold, a pretty boy in the